this boss actually uh, knows what you've been doing. All right, so Chris, how are you going to respond to her? Yeah, sure. Sure, <laughs> as long as it takes to run this shitty like I did in Brooklyn, I figure I can make myself comfortable here. Put my feet up, you know. <laughs> Perfect capon, 10 out of 10, Oscar. <laughs> oh my god! I've seen okay. the untouchables! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of Chicago Chronicles, so a series of uh, streams in which we will play Empire of Sin as Al Capone and try to conquer Chicago and become the criminal kingpins of the city. I'm Brenda Romero and I'm the game director of Empire of Sin. I'm the one who I have to be here every stream. Um, <laughs> No matter how much you try to get... No, I'm only kidding. Um, <laughs> so you're, you're going to be getting used to seeing me, I guess I'd say. I'm Chris King. I'm a senior designer of Romero Games. I was drafted in the last moment in, as a substitute for the captain because I've been doing a lot of work on the economic system, and I think we're going to chat a little about that in today's stream at some point. Now, for those of you who remember, last time we were in the game, we have just taken a couple rackets. So we are uh, we're doing a full playthrough here. Um, uh, there's an asterisk on the end of that up until uh, we potentially die. Um, but we're, hopefully that won't happen. Chris and I feel pretty confident. Um, so here we are in Chicago. We've got a couple of businesses. Now, Chris, um, we is, my primary concern, uh, having just started out, like if we go back out there, you can see that, um, you can see actually that we're not doing too bad. Um, uh, we've got, so that's our safe house. We've got uh, speakeasy, we've got a brewery here, we've also got a casino, and we've got a brothel. We've, we've got one of each of the businesses. We've also got a hotel. Um, it might be worth talking. Chris, do you want to talk Which a little bit? Which is called California. Well, oh, yeah. Sorry, it's a pun for, from me. I couldn't <laughs> handle it. I had to. <laughs> While I'm sitting here talking, our alcohol is counting down here. So uh, do you want to talk a little bit about maybe... Um, uh, what would you think? Like the fact of the matter is, is right now we are only plus eight. We are making some money, but my concern is, is that we really can't go any further um, uh, unless we get some more alcohol. Uh, well, I mean, plus eight's not a bad amount for a starting empire. And um, the um, uh, when when we when we sat down to kind of start balancing the game, we kind of set up a kind of two ground rules. One that first that crime should pay. You know, it's a bit of a corny one, but you know, as a gangster, the reason you do it is you're making money. So as long as you supply your racket alcohol and you've got people coming through the doors, you should do well. Um, now, a rack, a, a brewery can kind of supply, well, a small brewery produces about eight barrels of alcohol right now on our current balance system. So yeah. Um, so that's about a small brewery's worth there, and that will supply about four speakeasies of the same size. So we've got, we've got, got a bit of buffer alcohol there, but we are, if you notice, our money is fluctuating because of our casino. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Because each racket is a kind of, rather than just, you know, you have a racket, you throw in some alcohol, you get some customers, and then you um, get some money back. We can sort of try to set each racket up with its own profile, so you can sit there and kind of have a bit of thought about which racket you are. So casinos, because they rely on gambling, um, sometimes the house loses, so your month, your income fluctuates every week on this one. So here this week, it's actually lost some money. Um, hopefully next week it will do a bit better. Well, next week it should do a bit better, because on average... You still will win with casino, but you know you've got to watch that. Especially you're going to run your money right to the edge. Oh. Ooh, you met someone. Okay, <laughs> I think I know them. Um, yes. Uh, whoops. Um, get back yeah. here, you. Uh, so we do. We have the potential right now. We've got a racket right here that we could take over potentially. Yeah, we. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got the alcohol and we've got enough money, so I would go for it. I would actually right. grab a couple of rackets, more rackets. I am probably going to regret some of these decisions, but we'll see. Uh, I'm not the tactical combat guy, so... <laughs> no, it's, you know, the nice thing about this is, is I'm always, uh, this is, uh, you know, I'm conscious that... Nice. That, oh, that oh, works. <laughs> there we one. are. Oh. See, I don't need Ian, I don't need Ian on you. Now watch me get, I'm going to get killed, and then I won't, be able to, I won't be able to go to work at all. Oh, that's all right. right. Oh, okay. We're doing great. All right. So, I, you know, but normally... <laughs> Normally, it's me heckling either Katie or Ian, right? Like, and I'm super conscious. Like, if I lose one of these guys because we're doing a playthrough, like, that's it. We're, um, that's it. I'm just not taking any chances. I'm just going for it. Nice. Die. 
Yeah, it's the, the dev command of die. Uh, I'm not using any dev commands. I'm holding up my hands like you, like you can see. Like people are, oh, she's typing on her keyboard. Something's got to be going on. Mm -hmm. But if we die, I'm going to be heckled uh, for a long time. So, oh, no, that doesn't make any well, sense. All right. So I've got, only... we've, got, we've got an economic question coming here going, will France okay. make a game in any, in, make France make an appearance in the game in any way or fashion? Right now, no. There's no kind of. You build a florist and then turn it into, then tell everyone it's a, or you build a casino and then tell everyone again. it's a florist. I think that worked well. I'll just shoot him, he's right there, but that's just me. Maybe I'm a bit old fashioned right. that way. <laughs> well, Chris, See. that's just. I nice. suppose so. See? I mean, why Overwatch when you could just kill them? Well, yeah. because it's. It beca well, I don't know, actually. I don't have a good excuse for that one. <laughs> So, so right now, no, there's no front in the game, but you know, who knows what will happen in the future. Okay, great. So we've got some, we've actually got some good weapons. Um, so we're going to just take this over, are we? Yeah, yeah, take it over. Okay. Uh, and we want to make it a what? So our alcohol was low. Do we want to make it a brewery? That's going to be pretty expensive, but that gets no, us up we're, I, we're, we're fine for alcohol for being a you small think empire. think so? All yeah. right. So we'll go for, say we're playing Capone. Brothel speakeasy? A... Yeah, brothel speakeasy. Okay, That's... well, we've got one of each. I guess brothels, since we've got a casino and brothels are more steady income, we'll go for one of those. Uh, and, yeah. oh, we. Oh, now you have an opportunity to call Gooey it as Bonbon you want. Gooey Bonbon is quite possibly <laughs> the worst name for a brothel ever. All right, here we go. Bon. Gooey Bonbon, bon, my apologies. Um, <laughs> or, good. congratulations, you are, now, uh, you are now a brothel. Now a proud brothel. Yeah. Please. So now when we are in this building, maybe you can upgrade it and we'll see how it changes visually as well. Sure, and I'm also going to point out here that as bosses, um, when you go through the game for a whole bunch of different things, you know, from uh, rackets that you buy, people that you take out, bosses that you take out for missions, you gain notoriety. And with the notoriety you gain, uh, you also gain bonuses to your statistics. Um, oh, that's great. There's a problem at our brothels. Uh, the police have taken one of our workers hostages and everyone's up in heaps about it on okay. my way up. all right that's why we can worry about that a minute because uh, drones okay. 200 has said it's every fight inside the building or can you fight in the streets as well and the answer is absolutely you can go mental hmm. in the streets and kill people as well so this is <laughs> this isn't going all right this isn't exactly well i guess you know what while all these things are decreasing on the one hand like i'm a gangster and uh and i'm shooting up things and opening brothels and other illegal businesses in chicago so i suppose i shouldn't be all that surprised oh awesome oh, okay nice. so we've got we've got 1000 in weekly income that's pretty great we're we're growing our brothel uh, our business <laughs> Going our business well. These <laughs> other colors, uh, these are other people who. Uh, these are. This that's, is a. This is a minor this faction. Is, it's a my. You know, for instance, this is my family. This is Los Romero. So I could go. This is. This is going to. Um, this is turning. This is ending up being a pretty dark playthrough here. So the thing, the question is, I guess, which we could throw this to chat. Should I attack my family or should I get the just the thug-related buildings here? So we yeah, have a bunch have to, of... If you have to, if you cannot guess what chat's going to say to this, well, you, know, <laughs> you haven't done streams before. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, chat surprised me! My God, chat. Yeah, Get see, the it's, a, it's a nice chat. This, chat been, this chat's been with us for a while. No, never attack family. Let's keep it civil. My word, chat, family, you have surprised me. Civil family. Oh, so look at it. Yeah, there's Kingpin in there, who wants me to attack my own family. Kill your family. All right. All right, this then. would be, I guess, to win this game, I have to kill a Romero, so I might as well go for it. Um, <laughs> to uh, win this game, you need to kill John Romero. Okay, I see. No, I see. you don't <laughs> kill him. I said a Romero, any Romero will do. Um, do you, well, you know what? Hold on. Let's Before we get that whole faction upset at us, I'm going against what Chas said. That building is clearly too big for me to take over. I So here's just from a strategic point of view, I like that this is well contained. So I'm actually going to go next door uh, and just take out at least one more of these buildings, if that... Um... Well, the other thing here is if you notice little blue dots, those are guards on the streets. And mm -hmm. when someone comes to attack your rackets, they will actually support you. Okay. support each other so you know you get extra defense of your rackets when they're close together actually this is a good reminder that we are playing uh right now on live code um also this is a a, a recent stable build but it is not the most uh recent build so um so there's a lot of stuff like this for instance that you're gonna see that'll be um uh that that won't be in the final game but oh. um 
anyway, it's it's a live game. We're still in production. If it were out, we wouldn't, you know, we're, we're seeing all kinds of interesting things. So I just answered that question, but I was simultaneously talking. Mm. Um, you got it. Talk to Mrs. She. Yeah. Pornography is... is this is, she's saying somebody who's just opened up a brothel. Okay, well. surely there must be, uh, let's see, surely there must be more grave matters. We will not leave this for the devil's lair is cleansed of sin. We'll not leave until, um, it's going to take a lot more than bleach to cleanse this, <laughs> wow. to cleanse this place. <laughs> That's dark. All right, so, um, okay, Chris, I'm going to let you make this choice. I'm hands Thank off the you. keyboard. You're welcome. So let's see. Persuade? Should I see if the ladies want to work there? I mean, I, they, they look like they need to do some work. Yeah, while Chris is doing this, I'm going to take some, I'm going to take some questions from chat here. All right, so, uh, okay, I've oh, already got that oh one. Oh, my word, they're not too pleased to spy out their husbands. Oh, no. <laughs> so there is one question about the um, uh, characters locked on the website, and I can answer this one. So basically, these are the, the bosses that we didn't uh, show yet. Uh, but we will present all of them uh, at some point during our streams and then they will be uncovered on the website as well. We'll p also publish uh, separate blogs for each of the bosses so then you can learn more about them uh, on the website. Right, so all right. So we're going to finally right. head inside here after after confusion. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> that was me. I, oh, well, no, well, it was actually, yeah, so we can see here that, you know, when you upgrade, especially if you upgrade um, uh, ambiance you'll uh the interiors look better but it's also we the interiors they up they upgrade and and uh you know they're trying to att attract more maybe high-end clientele so uh the better your ambiance the more people uh you will get in and ultimately the more money oh, no, that you it's, it's, it's the Wait, better your ambience the more got... money more money people will spend mm. ah okay yeah. all right this is why you're here Entendido. yes gotcha. Some of these questions I can't quite answer yet. Um, let's see, how is Mabel Riley from the release trailer? Mabel's doing fine. Uh, last I talked with her, we had some tea, socially distanced tea, of course, and she was doing great. Uh, she had just a few wounds. Sorry, Chris, I keep touching the mouse like I'm driving the show and I'm, I'm <laughs> making your combat look weird. Um, can we, rem uh, let's see. Uh, I, there's one question from Big Boza. Okay and it's mostly for you, Brenda, I believe. So, is there any aspect of the game that you guys gave a mo more focus to, in example, combat, visual story, etc.? What was the most um, frustrating or difficult to get right? You, I think the thing about it is, is like, is, you know, you can probably even notice. So we have, uh, it's, it's fairly easy to notice, I'd say. We have, each, there are, in the design team, we each have our own different specialties. So for instance, you know, Chris is economics, uh, Ian O'Neill is combat, um, Manuel is is just sort of, he's the eye of the player and making sure things are being communicated to the player. Oops. Chris is like tearing up the place. I just shot my own guy. But anyway, <laughs> apart from that, Chris, sorry about that, you. <laughs> sorry about that, you. I didn't mean to kill oh, you. Oh, no, you he's you? injured. <gasps> Did you kill him? No, he's no, just I didn't. injured. I, I, he's, he's a, a bit disappointed. I, I, I didn't realize he was going to get killed like that. Or okay, get hurt like that. <laughs> I right, love so it. So if you do? injure somebody, they're a bit disappointed. I'm liking this. I, can I think he's you, just, he's just left. If he's you, left. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> I, I think he's, he's in the hospital. He's back full no? of lead. Um, no. He left see, forever? Right. Really? Well, let's check. He got upset so much that he left the company? Really? No, he's, oh, no, he's no, no. just in the hospital. Away. Okay, he's, he's, he's yeah. injured. Shoo. Oh. Yeah, well, it's gonna it's gonna take him fifteen days to walk to the hospital with that amount of lead in him. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I thought I did. Uh, Thanks for me. So, so as I was saying, we have our different experts. Chris is the economy, <laughs> and so like the, I think the challenge is is just because it is there's so many things going on in the game, trying to keep. Uh, trying to keep the whole game, you know, trying to figure out like exactly what's happening and being a, like a, a full Wikipedia of all these different things is a challenge. Um, but fortunately, we all get on well, except when Chris decides to kill one of us. <laughs> uh, all right, so Chris, I'll drive. I'll yeah, drive. Do we, do we, we want to hire a replacement, by the way. <laughs> well, we, do, we have money, so. We, we do have, have the money. money, but... Actually, okay, so... one question regarding money, because there is something I, I would like to, to figure out. Because uh, I understand that speakeasies are mm. the best to convert uh, alcohol to money, 
Then we have casinos that don't really use alcohol. They're just generating money based on gambling. And then... No, but casinos, um, if you supply alcohol, your punters will make more sensible <sighs> betting decisions. Okay. And you will make more money. Okay. I... And for Based for brothels, on... what's the relationship between alcohol and and cash? Again, if you if, brothels will will always make a profit if you got the customers in, but if you supply alcohol in, they will make an enhanced profit. All right. Um, so based on our last experience, I've decided to hire a doctor. Okay. Um, not the craziest decision, and I am now deciding. So Ian uh, Ian talked about these on our last one. Yep. Uh, our last stream. So characters can earn traits, um, and these traits will help them as they, you know, it takes a certain amount of time to learn the trait, but the traits give you bonuses in the game. So also based on our last showing, I think I'm going to go for healing. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so it's going to take her six weeks to learn this talent. So as you can see, there's medics and in that, you know, so we've got just our basic hired guns. Um, and then we've got medics. So Rocco is a medic. Um, and then we also have demolitionists. So demolitionists are, they are allowed to demolish buildings um, among other things. Um, and so basically we've got, we've got a group of characters that uh, they have their own special abilities and traits, their own talent trees and find their own utility in the crew, uh, depending on what you want to do um, and how you want to grow your empire. Uh, so who else do we have? Doctors, demolitionists, uh, hitmen. Um, oh, right, we've got con men. So uh, con artists are particularly useful in all kinds of things. So um, I, would, I don't have a... Oh, I thought it said I don't have enough. So those are our, our five. I guess what I'm going to do, I'll wait till we hire a con artist to talk a little bit more about that. All right, so here she comes. Um, and now we've got three of us. We're going to try to stay alive. Uh, we will, I guess, take out this next derelict building. Mm -hmm. um, I just, uh, before we do that, actually, I just want to go out and see. So I have a tendency to do this kind of incessantly when I'm playing. I like to see what's happening in the world. So there's a boss here. There's another boss here. This means this neighborhood is pretty, the, and these would be, these would are major factions. So we've got the, and these are the minor factions here. Man, there's so many businesses that we could take out. Is there a reason that we don't want to just get these, Chris? You just want to, like, thug it out here and take this one over. In the short term, it's because uh, to buy a business, um, it's more expensive than to yeah. if you persuade the thugs to just to leave. Unless you send your guy yeah. to the hospital, I suppose. <laughs> well, the, the thugs left the building. You know, it was a uh, mission accomplished. All right, so questions. Is there any amount of intrigue in the game, or is it focused on a strong arm? Yes, there is some intrigue in there. I will talk about it at some point. All right. Will there be Pretty rivalries in, with these gangs? Um, well, gangs have a relationship with each other, so they will end up just not liking you. where they are. Um, I'm trying to make a decision about where, where I want to go at this point in time. So I'm... I do not have great, I'm just, I want to just play this safe. Um, now, Chris, you can make fun of me for doing Overwatch, but I don't care. I'm just going to. Well, that part, you there's only fire. one door, so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but Sue, so, yeah, I guess. So I'm going to get Nora. I just don't want to lose. Nora. I'm being I'm being just a baby about this right now, honestly. Um Looking at the question, I, I thought I saw there was a question there. Um, what is a chat? What's our question? Will there be a workshop to support modding? Do we have a Steam Workshop? Uh, well, I believe that the game will be highly moddable, right? Oh, we Jesus. talked about that last time. Yes, there's okay. a lot of moddability, a lot of stuff in Lua files and all these kind of things for you to mod. And I think we have workshop support as well, I believe. Yeah. Don't so that was up. that was clearly not the greatest place to stand, uh, which I thought it was. But um, so well, I think the, the flaw oh. was that oh, nice. the flaw. There is no flaw when you've got Maria Rodriguez. Let me tell you, <laughs> mm -hmm. their flaws. Um, oh, no so... modding on launch or come post launch. If it's a question, I just saw an All answer right. from our producer. How's the game switch right. shaping up on Switch? People want to know. The game is shaping up great on Switch, actually. Um, all right, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go for the throat. What? Okay, sorry. That is an example. Uh, when you see those things, that is an example. Bear in mind, we're playing on code that's uh, a couple weeks old. So when I see stuff, I'm like, how is that there? That's fixed. Um, and then I remember that this this is a different build. So sorry for being um, 
Oh, uh, let's see. Well, there's nobody I could hit, so will I just do? What will I do? I'd run to cover. No, uh, so you can shoot. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Good. Oh, that's gonna yeah, hurt. That was... Yeah. Well, it hurt. Uh, yeah, it definitely hurt him. All right. So we'll just get Capone over there anyway. Um, put him in Overwatch. So anybody tries to come in the door. Yeah. Nice. Oh, miss. miss. But oh, it was well, uh, a good it move anyway. anyway. Yeah. Oh, forgot. Oh, it's time. Things. Yeah, that's it. He's got. Now, say bosses are a little. Oh Christ. This isn't. I'm not even going to look at the chat and see what Ian's saying about me right now. Um, <laughs> We're doing uh, great. Ian is not saying anything at the moment, so <laughs> he's ashamed. He's a bit Katie. I've yeah. So the thing is, though, like we have to play. We we can't. We're not restarting this, right? So like, if we take yeah. people out, um, oh, I can't do this. One. Use AOE. Oh, okay, that works. I can't as believe well. you're mm -hmm. you're spending time doing this. Why? There's two guys next to you. One guy with a hammer. This. I friendly. wanted to take the opportunity to Ooh. do it. I'm feeling. This Police is wait a minute. Like you it. just you just shot your own guy at least fifteen <laughs> times in the back, and you're criticizing me for a perfectly executed execution. At I least don't... I agree. I, I eyes on the prize. That's right. No. Eyes on the prize. <laughs> All right. Well, if we're gonna be. All right. I good. shot my own guy trying to shoot the other guys. Right. And that was All the right. important bit. It was. It was intent. So, after the execution, I see a new icon on top of Al Capone's head, so what's that? Like there's uh, this, uh, like, thief or, or something like this? Oh. Is it because he, he made an execution? Is it a buff or, or something like that? Um, Hold on, this, this I, is going to be exciting. Like Please kill them. Rain of fire them. Yeah. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Fucking uh, possible go wrong here. What could possibly go wrong? Apart from you probably kill your doctor. Um, Just shoot. I don't that, think that's, that's a good okay. idea. Yeah, I yeah. don't think that's a good idea right now. Okay, right. Um, now the doctor should that? be good enough. Yes. Yeah, rain of fire is a little, it, you know... Oh, come for the love of God. Yes, the captain does give you a hot tip here, shoot them. <laughs> okay, well, I'm taking his advice. Nice. And a, and a metal right. lined waistcoat. Great. Cool. So yeah, which is all right. So Chris, we're just going to straight take this over, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Now we need somebody, and we're going to make this a speakeasy. Yeah, because the last one we made a brothel. So let's make yeah, this well, a speakeasy. Yeah. Well, no, but if we can make that one a brothel as well, then we'll have three of a kind of it's a brothel. Ew, fair. Good point. So uh, now, what Chris is getting out there—that's another one of those synergies, and that improves your economy overall because it gives you a buff. So we need to. We're going to buy a brothel. Um, and we need to name this after somebody. Kingfisher, this is your brothel. Yes, yeah, your first. Kingfisher, Kingfisher <laughs> names. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Gigi. All right. So here we are, Kingfisher Games. We do have another right. brothel we could rename because I didn't actually name it, the brothel I took over for anyone in chat. Okay. So there we are. This is a. Yeah, so I, uh, Chris, do we want to upgrade this at all? Or I would just... I, right now. I would throw the money into getting as many rackets as I can. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we'll get the whole group together. We're back at our safe house. Chris, do you want to take out the Romeros here? here? Yeah, we could speak, we could visit the Romeros. All right, we might as well do this. Might as well end this on a really hey, Capone. dark note. Yes. Yeah, I did on a very dark note, and we'll go. Uh, let's see. We'll enter. Are we going to? Are we going to? Are we going to do the nice thing and declare war? Or are we just going to steal the rackets? Well, you, no, actually, you know what, Chris? Here, go ahead. Why don't you point out how we can how we can do that? Go ahead. I'm hands off. All right. So we'll go into our diplomacy screen. Oh no! Wait. We'll try again. Well, okay. Here we are. Can you change the building up? Yeah. Here we go. Let's declare yep. war on the Romeros. Nice. Okay. We made a terrible. I don't think we've made any mistakes, mate. <laughs> there we go. We're now at war. Mm-hmm. All right, so I, just for those watching, I have had two combats and everybody has lived. Yeah. Um, Q is back despite the, uh, despite the, the lead. Um, I'll answer, while Chris is doing this, I'll answer some question, uh, questions. Let's see, uh, Ian O'Neill, shoot the guys. <laughs> yep, that was a great tip. Um, um, how many max characters per group? So that's a, actually an interesting question. Um, it depends on how you slice that group up. Uh, 
And I would just say the Turkish Chuck Norris. Um, oh, nope, that was a different question. Let's say you're against brothels. Can you change what a building does? Chris, do you want to take that one? Chris is very <laughs> focused on He's living. Too focused. Focused. <laughs> All right. After after someone hurling abuse at my pro strategies last time. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, uh, I'll get back. All right, I'll, we'll save that. Um, so Max Characters for Party, which is where I was going uh, with that one. So Symphony of Destruction, excellent name, uh, excellent song. Um, so how many Max Characters? So this is a tricky question because it's not like there's a fixed number. Uh, it depends. You'll notice each character has a take. That means they get a certain percentage of your income. Uh, likewise, each character has a sign-on bonus. So you can't give all of your income away because like, they, they're not going to hire on if you can't give them that certain percentage of their take. So it depends. You could have more cheap gangsters um, or you could have some pretty elite gangsters who, uh, who will take enough of your, um, enough of your profits. Uh, that... As long as you don't, you, you clearly do not want to put yourself in the hole just for, uh, to have gangsters, uh, to have a certain amount of gangsters around. Makes sense. There we go. No gangsters were harmed. Good job, Chris. All right, so we're going to take this over. Um, and you, what did we do? So we've got, we've got a so full in house. answer to the question going, do I want a brothel, right? Okay. As you can see here, if I want to keep the thing as is, I don't pay any money. It's free just to take it over. Which is a casino. Yeah. Yes. If I want, right. if I want to convert it, say, say I, I think gambling is a sin, I decide I want to do the more wholesome trade of brothels, then I'd have to pay one thousand eight hundred twenty dollars to convert it. So there you have an idea. Of, so you don't actually have to keep it. So you can change the building when you take over. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That worked out. All right. So are what? We, what are your? We have a bunch of brothels already. Yeah, I'll just keep it as a casino anyway. Just It's the cheapest option. We're looking just to get some income on the ground here. Okay. All right. So, confirm. So, there it is, is yeah. a casino. Oh, are you doing this, Chris? Okay, yeah. sorry. There's two of us. Yes. Um, all right. So, we've get, we've gone up yet another level. So, if we take the speakeasy over, then we definitely need another brewery. Okay. Or we need to increase production. And just, this is emphasizing that the question um, as well, the, qu the previous question about uh, changing what businesses do, um, as well as uh, how much these require. So we're, we're actually thinking about if we get this, we could just, we could win this just for pure muscle. If we get this, then we don't have to add a brewery yet. Our economy can support it. We're still just putting in tons of cash, uh, getting in tons of cash. We can... But if we take this over, then we have to get a brewery. Breweries are expensive, um, but obviously it's prohibition, so your empire runs on those. I keep wanting to take that over, but I know, you know what? If this were going to be a stream that would just end and we start a new game, I would go for it. Um, but it's not, so, so I'm not going to be... Uh, You're going to go full Leroy be... for that building there. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I don't want to do something like that. All right, so what? Uh, which one do you want to try to take over next, Chris, or do, do you... You don't want to just go buy one. We actually just want to try. It's cheaper, so will it's we... always cheaper to take over. Yeah. So you know what? Let's go for let's go for the brothel again. We're building up this incredible brothel empire here, and then we'll do this. We also have an opportunity. Uh, we could potentially go meet a boss, uh, so we won't know who this is until we meet that boss. Um, I'm surprised they're already not out cruising around the neighborhood. They're probably doing something similar to what we're doing. So, um, all right, Chris, we've got three options here. We can take over the brothel. We can, this is going to be obviously a tougher fight. We can take over the speakeasy or we can go meet a new boss. Cats actually asked, is there a made man function in this game? Yes. Well, we have there this is... idea of the made, made gangster, which you have to actually kill someone to achieve. Yeah. So and, you can see. And that have... allows you to get promoted to other positions. You must kill someone. Yeah. So we have actually now, we have three of our gangsters. We have our maid. Eventually, you can get lieutenants, underboss, and advisors. So, absolutely, we do have that. All right, so we're going to go meet this new boss. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so chat says meet the boss. Yeah. So, All I right. have no idea who this boss will be. I certainly have some... Uh, okay. Oh, you met uh, the, that was, the that Romero's, was a right? Oh, oh, yeah, that's geez. a Romero guard. Oh, don't worry, just, just um, retire them. <laughs> Alright, Chris, you go ahead. You're the one who went right. and attacked him. You go ahead. Alright. 
Well, they have no chance against you, so... Yeah, no, they don't. Well, no. <laughs> they don't like it. <laughs> and I... So, so there yeah, are... Los Romero said uh, like that. <laughs> no, well... It, yeah, I'm just hoping none of my family's watching. <laughs> I know John's working on something. Well, that's great, Brenda. You made a. F <laughs> Thanks for putting us in the game and killing us. We appreciate that. Oh, it's a card sharks. Oh, all right. Okay. Um, okay so this is Stephanie St. Clair. Stephanie is one of our. Uh, she is somebody uh, we often get asked whether these are fictional or factual bosses. So Stephanie St. Clair is a card shark. She is. Hence the name. Um, uh, she ran um, a lot of gambling operations. She's originally from New York. She is a factual boss. Uh, she comes from New York, rather. She's originally uh, from Martinique. She's West Indian, for, uh, from the Caribbean. Okay, so uh, let's see. So we, bearing in mind that these discussions have uh, consequences, mm -hmm. so we could threaten her. Um, we, I don't want to begin. Con that is, I don't want to start out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right now, just because we are just, it's, uh, yeah, I don't want to, I don't feel ready to take on an entire major faction quite yet. Um, but I think it's fair, like, if we just request to sit down and introduce ourselves, uh, I think that's probably a good idea. Okay, so before we go yeah. there, we actually have uh, videos prepared for all the bosses, so maybe we can ah, pre uh, present Stefani just now. And that was Stefani. So it Before seems that... Before we do have one last question to yeah. non-Italian gangsters of the Mafia, gangster hierarchy. Yeah, all gangs have the same hierarchy at the moment. Just to answer that one. All right. All right, Chris. So we're, we're ready to head in. So you can see... Oh, I didn't want to do that yet. You can see that sit-downs, when, uh, when they give you a sit-down, there, it's it's not just like, hey, stop by whenever you feel like it. You have a certain amount of time to get to that sit down. These are bosses, they got an empire to deal with. If you don't show up, that's considered an insult and it will affect you negatively. All right, so I don't want to do that, um, but I do, well, actually, I didn't want to even see that. I want to go in for the sit down. All right, so let's yes. begin the sit down. Mm -hmm. All right, yes, I am sure I want to do this. Hey. Okay, so uh, so these sit downs actually the it, again we're on a live development build. So these sit downs are voiced. Um, so that's something uh, that as we continue to do streams, you'll eventually see that. Uh, so let's see. We can, Chris, do you want us to voice? Do you want to voice one for old time's sake? Sure. Okay, so, so you're going to be. Am I going to do Stephanie then? <laughs> Bonjour, sweetheart. Oh. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Okay, so you will be the Scottish Capone. Um, I can be uh, best well. Capone. Let's see. Okay, the best Capone, the Scot little known Scottish Capone. Okay, here we go. Um, bonjour, sweetheart. I hope Chicago is being good to you. But if you mess with my guys, I'll fucking kill you. You understand? Okay, what are you gonna say? Mm, yeah, Chicago starting to feel like home already. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, okay. That sounded exactly like a poem, Chris. <laughs> ah, let's see. I imagined it is. You've been really settling in from what I can see. You planning to stay long? So it's interesting pointing out here, this boss, mm -hmm. uh, apologies for my unbelievably poor acting. <laughs> um, this boss actually uh, knows what you've been doing. All right, so Chris, how are you going to respond to her? Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, as long as it takes to run this shitty like I did in Brooklyn, I figure I can make myself comfortable here. Put my feet up, you know. <laughs> Perfect Capone. 10 out of 10, yeah. Oscar. <laughs> oh my god! I've seen okay. the untouchables! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I've got this together. This is my stupid idea. Alright, Chris, what was your answer? <laughs> What's the first one? Okay. I've watched the untouchables. I distinctly I remember the accent in Chicago, right? Absolutely, your accent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, I gotta get it together. I can't even read. Okay, you, I, oh my god. Okay, 
Chris, just answer the question. Oh my god. <laughs> right. oh, right. <laughs> Never work with children or animals. I've That's what I say. Chicago, <laughs> I've been to Chicago and I'm from New York and you're not even anywhere near them. Okay, here we are. I'm going to do it. Yeah, sure. It's all about perspective. <laughs> she, where I'm shitting, you don't need to look like a queen to, a queen to me. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's the answer. I'm not going to get through this stream. Okay, I got to stop cry laughing. All right, and um, and you are from Kingley. You are far from Kingley, Alphonse Capone. So what does that make us then? Well, maybe we should get together and find out. Yes. Oh God, this is an awkward conversation. Okay, that's when you're picking. All right. So um, let's see. I hear you are a married man, Alphonse. In any case, you are not my type. You're too, how shall I say, incense? Yeah, sure. Look, I got all day. Let's get to business, eh? <laughs> now you're Sean Connery more, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know sure, yes. D'accord. Time is valuable. I respect that. Well, I have a business offer that could help the both of us. Sure, uh, let's hear it. Uh, your casinos need better security. I can help you find good muscle for a far lesser cost than some heavies would have you pay. So just to be clear for my, my some, uh, these will actually be voiced by people that aren't me and Chris. Although I don't know, Chris's accent's pretty, <laughs> pretty spot on. Oh yeah, sure. Oh my what, God. Uh, what's that I hear, a free lunch? <laughs> yes, get to the part where you ask me for something. I, I see a like... potential for DLC, Chris King, voiceover, the whole <laughs> game, all characters. <laughs> I, was not I was not expecting it to be cool. So you want to get the poem? <laughs> all right, so we want something here, a free lunch. Get to the point, you asking me for you something? You pull a knife, Sorry. you pull a gun. <laughs> You can show me how to make my brothels more classy and what corners to cut so I can do it cheaply. A good deal, we? Oui? What do you say? Uh, I say all right. Yes, we have a deal. Nice. Okay, so, so that, ended, uh, that ended well. So wonderful, Alphonse. I knew you would see the mutual benefit of this. We will make good partners. We'll just have to see about that. <laughs> see you around. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> where what? is this accent from? It's from, it's from, I watched the Untouchables. That's a genuine Chicago accent, right? I, I, well, I mean, obviously, I was asking what specific part of um, <laughs> Chicago. I'm not Scottish... sure which part. I mean, I don't, I just, I just know it's the Irish American cop's accent, right? But I think that this actually gives us um, an interesting opportunity for a community as well. Uh, so we'll create a, a tweet. Uh, tomorrow and for the weekend asking you guys if you would like us to go for a war with card sharks or if we should <laughs> make some diplomacy with them and yeah, uh, based just... on uh, which oh you God. prefer we will do mm. uh, the thing accordingly if that's okay All with right. you Brenda and, and Chris as uh, well. <laughs> well so I if we are going to go to a war with them uh which would certainly be entertaining so there's a couple ways to look at it like right now we are pretty well financed we've got some good money for this early in the game i mean we're, we're not even through the first year in the game so we've got some good money we've got a better empire than she does if we took out her empire we get all of this we get all of her businesses which is nice yeah but that's um, very risky as well right it is super risky um, because right now, you can see, we could get lots of... Now, mind you, she's also got guys out on the street, street, right? So, like, we could potentially get a lot of these businesses. We've got money. We could pick up these two for free mm -hmm. uh, before somebody else does. We can also take out the rest of my family. Um, uh, yeah, and I'd certainly say finish with Los Romero's first. You yeah. know, one more at a time, guys. Just get in line. Take yeah. Care. Yeah, so I think probably what we'll do is we'll we'll take out uh, we'll take out these um, and then go from there. Okay, and then we'll see what time. But to our great fans, also, say. we we know that there is another boss in the neighborhood, right? Uh, yeah. So I believe that it's not very uh, wise to have a conflict with both of them at the same time. So maybe oh. we can uh, have an alliance with one of them and fight another one. Possibly, it just depends how much you like us. All right. Some bosses is just so... plain don't like you. Yeah, and I'm going to choose just before I'm going to choose Lifeline, which is a really nice talent uh, to have. So it's going to take her 12 weeks. Um, so when she gets it. like phone a friend, it, 
Yeah, sort of. Yeah. You know, it'll, um, it'll, it'll mm -hmm. prevent, uh, it prevents people. They basically just bleed out uh, instead of dying, which is obviously incredibly useful. Okay, guys, we suddenly right. need to really wrap up. So thank you everyone for watching. Thank you, Brenda and Chris for uh, being with us and playing and uh, see you everyone in two weeks. That was great. Thank you. Thank you.